Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little cooking and cleaning and resetting my kitchen before bed. So let's get into it. So I started my evening off by taking Addison to tennis practice. She has that on every Tuesday at 520. So I'm just getting back home. I'm going to take my boots off and put on my Crocs. That's what I typically clean in. And when I get home, I have to get out of these shoes and put something comfortable on. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to wash this pot out that I used last night. I've been out of sorts lately, you guys, and I just haven't really had the motivation to do my much of anything. I don't know why. And so I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I think we probably all feel like that from time to time. So I'm going to clean this pot that I used last night to make dinner. And then I'm going to go ahead and start dinner for tonight. I'm using a little Dano seasoning. And all I'm going to make is a simple keto dish. This chicken was super yummy last night. So I decided to make it again last tonight. So I'm going to use a little adobo as well and a little bit of garlic powder. Since I'm on keto, I try to keep it simple. And so that's what we're going to do tonight. I'm just going to make the same thing we, I made last night. I normally cook Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and the other days are leftovers. So I typically wouldn't be cooking today, but because they ate all the chicken from last night, I had to cook again today. So this chicken is so easy. I just got uh, this recipe off of Pinterest. It literally needs a few ingredients. I'm using some chicken thighs. I tend to lean towards chicken thighs. I think that they're uh, more yummy for me in terms of chicken more so than chicken breasts. I don't know, I feel like chicken breasts for me are hit or miss. So I'm going to just cook them on both sides. And in the midst of them cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning. So I'm just gonna clean down all of the counters. And of course I have to get the little one to help. So she's gotta come and do her part as well. And in between cooking, I'm just gonna clean. I tend to multitask. So I'm flipping the chicken now. I like to get it nice and brown on one side. And then I just let it cook a little longer. And while I do that, I'm going to go ahead and unload the dishwasher. If you guys are new here, I recently got a dishwasher. For years, we hadn't had a dishwasher. Well, we always say our son is the dishwasher. He's 18 and he still lives at home, of course. And so his job is to do the dishes. So now he is more appreciative, I think, uh, now that we have a dishwasher because it makes the process, of course, a lot easier. So I let him have the night off because he has a job now. And so he's working and I like to, of course, keep the kitchen clean and he doesn't get home till late sometimes. So again, and I have the little ones helping as well on this part. Addison loves to help. She's a great helper and she wanted to put away all of the silverware. So of course I don't say no. And so I let her put away all of the fork spoons and knives. And again, that chicken is still cooking, but look at how brown it is. It looks so good. I'm telling you, a little bit of seasoning goes a long way, but sometimes I do like to use a lot of different types of seasons, y'all. Y'all know, I, I typically would use everything but the kitchen sink. So today I just did three things and now I'm gonna go ahead and add the heavy cream. This chicken is so creamy and gooey. Um, I also add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to that because it's keto friendly. And then I'm gonna let that cook a little bit longer. Last night I did add a little butter to it, but I didn't do that this time. I feel like um, I just, I don't know, I had a little bit of a headache and I just wanted to keep it simple. And then I'm gonna add some cherry tomatoes to that so I'm just slicing them up in half just to make them a little bit easier to eat sometimes I feel like when they're a whole little cherry tomato it's I don't always like them that way so I like to cut them in half and then I'm gonna toss them to the pan and let them cook along with the chicken and the Parmesan cheese and of course, this is a clean with me, so we are still cleaning as well. I like to clean as I go. So I'm using my Dawn um, spray to spray on the counters, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe them down with my towel and um, make sure that I am getting the whole entire counter clean. I'm not going to clean the stove tonight because 
I have that on my list for tomorrow. And um, so I know that needs to be done as well. I'm going to just wipe it down a little bit, but I'm not going to deep clean it like I normally would. Addison always keeps all of her stuff everywhere. So I have to call her in from time to time and say, come grab this. In that case, that was her iPad. So she took that upstairs. And now I'm going to go ahead and plate the chicken. It is done. It doesn't take long at all to cook, which is the beautiful part of it. And again, it's so good. And I love a good creamy chicken. And Parmesan is one of my faves as well. So Parmesan and heavy cream, I feel like always go well together. I did also add a little lemon juice, which I don't think I talked about um, and that just gives it a little twang and then I am ready to go ahead and just drizzle a little bit of that sauce right on top of the chicken. Last night I paired this with a little bit of um, cauliflower rice and that seemed to work very well but tonight I'm going to keep it even more simple and I'm just going to do a salad and so I think that should work well especially to keep it as healthy as possible. All right so now onto the stove top again. I told you I was just going to clean the stove just a little bit I love this topper that I got from Amazon because I can literally throw it right on top of the stove, especially on those days when I just don't feel like cleaning the stove and it can conceal all of my secrets, okay? And so I just wipe it down a little bit because sometimes I do chop on it. It is multi-purpose in that I can use it as a stove cover and I can also chop vegetables and things like that. So I just needed to clean it a little bit. So now I did unload the dishwasher as you saw earlier. So I need to go ahead and put away all of the glasses and cups and tumblers and all of the things that I didn't get to put away earlier. And so I'm just going to put them in the drawer and um, organize the drawer just a little bit and then I'm done with that part of the process and then y'all I am exhausted this took me about 45 minutes already and so now I have to move on to the dishes putting them in the dishwasher I had some leftover oil that I needed to discard so I put that in a bag and I uh, got rid of that and now I'm gonna go ahead and load the dishwasher. I do have to say, you guys, I do appreciate having a dishwasher. I know I used to always say I couldn't trust a dishwasher. Again, if you're an OG here, you'll remember me saying that on multiple occasions. I just didn't feel like the dishwasher got the dishes clean. And so I felt the need to just hand wash all the time. But again, most of the time my son did that. But I have to say, I'm really enjoying this dishwasher life. So just being able to load them up and then turn the dishwasher on has kind of been a game changer for me. Now, are there, there are still some things that need to be washed, like this griddle that I used earlier in the week. I'm using my Scrub Daddy paste because I love it. If you've never used a Scrub Daddy paste before, it is a must try in my opinion. And so it's gonna get off all of that extra residue. Now, this is an older griddle for us, so I know everything's not gonna come clean, but the Scrub Daddy Scrub Paste really helps with that. And then I use my pink stuff to go ahead and clean the kitchen. I love a good scrub daddy and typically I use the white ones because I just think they're aesthetically pleasing to keep out. So I use my scrub daddy along with the pink stuff and that tends to keep my sink really clean. So I'm just going to scrub it down a little bit and then I'm going to rinse it. And also I'm going to refill my scrub daddy container with some Dawn dish soap and clean some of my jars um, that I got a little bit of sticky residue on the outside. All right, so now it's on to cleaning and wiping down the counters. Of course, I try to move things out the way while I'm wiping the counter. So I'm going to wipe each and every counter down just to make sure it is completely clean and, um, and organized for the most part. And uh, I have Addison help me, of course. She loves to help again. So she's going to wipe that last counter down. And she just kept asking me, Mommy, Mommy, can I help? Can I help? And I love that she does that. And so sometimes I do feel like I would rather just do it because I know uh, how I like to do it. And sometimes she does get in my way, y'all, if I'm being honest. But tonight I said, yeah, we got to get you to help. So that's going to help her in the long run. So I, I love that she wants to participate as well. And then, y'all, I'm going to vacuum the floors with this wet dry vac. And that is it. We are done with the kitchen reset. I've cooked, I've cleaned, and now it is time to go to bed, y'all. Good night, okay? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, you will subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And of course, come back and join me for another video, and I'll see y'all then.